right, everybody, this is Bo back in the lounge. Want to do a shout out to the 1.5 million listeners we have all over this planet and the military bases that make that happen. And right now we've got little, we got the Fist of Fury. That's right, Jerry Seitz in the house. How you doing, Jerry? Hey, Bo, what's going on with you? I'm doing well. How you doing? Awesome, man. Listen, you've got a uh, an unprecedented win streak going on. You've got some gold. You got some belts. <laughs> Since we last spoke, you have been the thing in boxing. Oh, definitely. I, uh, I've been staying pretty, very, very busy, having a good time training. You know, as far as what I do, the way life, it's just not uh, something I do for fun. It's, it's my whole life. So uh, I'm definitely take my work seriously and have a good time doing it as well. You know, we just had Kathy Long on, and we talked about how dominant she was in her. She just had her first MMA fight, and uh, Avery Vilche gave her tons of love and respect and said when she hit her, a ton of bricks. I heard you're the same way when you hit. When you hit, <laughs> good things happen. Um, I don't know if you can hold a candle um, to Kathy Long. She was, she was definitely one of my uh, um, first female kickboxers I saw fight. Whenever I started, when I started doing this, even before I started doing this, when I was still in Taekwondo. <laughs> and uh, so, when you can say it, uh, any kind of person to her is really, I don't know, um, I, I feel like a, a little worm. <laughs> but she is incredible. She's awesome. And um, uh, I hit pretty hard as well. I have a really good time um, uh, with my stand up and things like that. But uh, I have to work a lot more on my ground. And um, But uh, she was definitely one of my idols. And um, I'm very impressed to uh, even hear that you even interviewed her. I'm, I'm actually kind of jealous that you got to talk to her and I didn't. Oh yeah, she was she was definitely an awesome interview. Now you know you've got an upcoming fight, you've got some success. There's there's definitely movement in the women's um, Olympics for boxing, um, and you know these are all topics on the table to see what's going on as far as your career goes. Uh, How does it feel to be in your position? In this position, I feel uh, wonderful. I am um, intelligent as ever, as far as um, you know, uh, what I do for a living, getting even in better shape, and really actually starting to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and um, instead of just, you know, go out there and throw and throw in techniques. You know, I've really I matured a lot and um, uh, you know, to be in this position, I just, I don't know what to say about it because um, I'm just really humble, I'm really happy and um, I'm thankful for all the people who've helped me uh, get to where I'm at and uh, I still feel I have so much more room to grow so, uh, you know, as good as everybody is, as good as the female boxers are out there and all the other female fighters, you can always be better. And I'm just one of those people who, who strive to be better no matter what. And um, at the same time, overcome obstacles. So I'm just, I'm, a, I'm as hard as they come. And um, <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm striving to be even better. So um, I feel like uh, I'm always a beginner, always uh, something I have to learn. So I feel like with that thought that I'm uh, always getting better. Yeah, you know, the, the growth of women in MMA, kickboxing, and boxing has been something that hasn't been seen in the history of this country in a positive movement. You've got just a, a, a unprecedented win streak. You've, you've been dominating at what you do. You've got good movement. You've got good hand speed. You've got good foot speed. What are kind of things you do to make sure those fists of fury keep landing? <laughs> just training. Absolutely training. And, um... Uh, maintain a, a stable mentality. You really got to do a lot of thinking and a lot of dreaming. So, um, if I don't dream about about winning or uh, visualize on that, I've got really nowhere else to go. So, um, you really got to think. You really got to train, and uh, you really got to take it seriously. But at the same time, if you feel like you're too weary or you've done too much, you know, take a day off and, and get away from the gym and things like that. So, I try to maintain a good balance in everything that I do. So. Um, at the same time, I watch fights. I'm always watching fights. That's how I learn a lot. I learn a lot just by watching other people and um, watching a lot of pioneers, uh, uh, boxing, Thai boxing, and um, MMA. I just try to uh, learn from them as well. I mean, I'm kind of one of those people that are more hands-on, but I learn a lot by watching other people as well. So everybody's my teacher. I've got great trainers um, all over the place. Everybody's my teacher. And, you know, like I said out earlier, I always feel like a student, and uh, that's what really, really helps me um, maintain the mentality and the physicality that I have. You know, the, the thing that a lot of us don't realize as average fans, big passionate fans, is we're so bombarded by football schedules, we're bombarded by soccer schedules, we're bombarded by wrestling schedules. When you're a pro fighter, you really don't have any schedule except to make sure you're in the best shape when that phone call rings. And that, that's got to be stressful at times. Because if you don't get the phone call in a couple of weeks when your next fight is, uh, you know, knowing you, you're probably going to be pulling your hair out. 
I am, I do. I do. It's very stressful, especially when you have no time to train. You, you sometimes you get opportunities that won't come at you again uh, with a month's notice or six weeks notice. You, your ideal is to have at least six weeks to train for a fight. I can't name one single time I've had six weeks to train for a fight, ever. Ever, ever, ever. And so I've had to always kind of maintain, uh, um, you know, be in the gym all the time, at least every day. If I'm not training myself, I'm training somebody else. So um, you, you've got to be have some kind of shape and always in mentality and take care of your body. That's like one of the main things, you know, don't uh, be hard on yourself. Uh, just really maintain that mentality is the strongest thing you can do. It's the hardest thing to do because with that, you, you have nothing. You have nothing. Now, what's in store for you for the next couple of weeks? Let us know. Oh, my gosh. Well, right now, I am... Uh, I'm actually pretty good also right now. I'm just going to be training. I've got uh, my first bout on Strike Force uh, coming up September 25th. And we're going to do five-minute rounds, three five-minute rounds. Um, you know, I've always done two-minute rounds, three-minute rounds. Um, three-minute rounds is, is kind of kickball. The training five-minute rounds I really up my cardio. I've really been working on my ground game as well as, as, as uh, keeping up on my stand-up. My kicks are as hard as ever. Um, I mean, if you, if you talk to Mike, my trainer, he's, he's going to tell you that I kick harder than any 189 guy in the gym. And it's all about technique and things like that. But I've just been really turning my butt off and um, doing a lot of dreaming and visualizing and watching a lot of fights and trying to prepare myself for, for what's to come. I'm, that big fight on September 25th is going to be on Showtime. I'm not sure if our fight's going to be televised or not, but I'm hoping and I'm praying uh, for us to get that um, exposure that we so very much need. And uh, we're just gonna, I'm just going to train. Uh, as hard as I can, uh, you know, treat it for the worst, expect the best, and see where I'm at. Awesome. Jerry Seitz, Fist of Fury, thanks so much for showing up. Just one second. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. You what? Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Eh? Absolutely. One second, Jerry.